The coolest looking thing in macOS Sonoma is probably its collection of screensavers slash wallpapers. This high definition video creates such a nice effect. But that effect comes for the price and the price is your storage. If you download all of them, you are getting well over 50 gigabytes of storage. So in this video, I want to show you where to find it in the system library, how Apple is managing it through the purgeable storage, and also how you can manage it yourself. So let's start. In the current version of macOS Sonoma, there are 134 of these screensavers. But by default, only this colorful Sonoma and Sonoma Horizons are downloaded. If you want to use any other, you have to download it one by one separately. And these files are pretty big. The biggest one goes over 1 GB of storage, and even the smallest, they will all be over 100 MB. So if you calculate it all together, you are easily getting over 50 GB of storage taken by screensavers. You can find out how many you have downloaded in a weirdly named folder inside of your system library. The easiest way how to navigate into this folder is to use the Go menu and copy the address here. I will leave it for you in the description of this video. But anyway, when you look at it, I have here only few of them downloaded and they are going up to 2 GB of storage. So this way, if you download all of them, you can easily run out of space. Well, that's not entirely true. To prevent that, Apple is using something called purgeable storage. Let me explain you what does it mean. Basically, that's part of the storage, part of your actual free space. Finder is happy to keep these purgeable files there on the background until you have some space. Then you start to run out of space. Mac will be slowly, secretly deleting these screensavers on the background, so you will not run out of space. It works the same way with iCloud. When you put something on iCloud, it's basically duplicated until the time you need to clear up some space on your local storage. When that moment, it will be offloaded to iCloud only. But anyway, if you download just few of these screensavers, you are still easily getting around 5 GB of storage. And for some older Macs, which have capacity only around 128, then it still can be quite a lot. Part of me thinks that this is a good solution to offer the users tons of screensavers. But on the other hand, I like to keep things in order myself. And that's what I teach my students in the courses as well. By the way, I have just released new complete course for macOS Sonoma. I will show you how to get in every folder there. If you are interested in it, check the description below. It comes with a very good starting price now. And the same goes for Clean My Mac. A lot of people keep on asking me about this program, if you need it on your Mac for maintenance. Well, my general answer is no, you don't need anything like that. But it's not a bad program for the basic cleaner. And it offers some other extra tool like the uninstaller, which is pretty useful. So if you are considering getting this program as well, I think now is the best time because there will be a great deal around Black Friday. Anyway, what doesn't cost you anything is to click on the subscribe button because I'll make sure to bring you some other tips in the next video. Thanks for watching.